you have a motorcycle, I guess at some point you have to brake. I hope. Many motorcycles have installed a floating disc braking system, which are expected to provide a good braking performance. However, they can also show some problems while braking in the form of vibrating, shattering or pulsating discs. If you have experienced this, you know what I'm talking about. This behavior may lead us to think that the brake disc is bent and therefore it needs to be changed. In this video, I will show you how I fix this issue without needing to change the discs, just by using one tool, brake disc cleaner and a bit of patience. I will show you how I did it on my electric motorcycle, a Zero SRS 2020, the protagonist of many of my videos. This video is for all of you who struggle with pulsating discs. Let's go for it! Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Daniel Montero, electroviajero de vocación, y me gustaría compartir mis experiencias contigo. ¿Te unes? Hi my fellow electrovelers, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I don't update much, but today I'm going to bring you a very nice trick that will greatly help you to reduce the vibrations while braking on the SRS and SRF models. So first let me explain what's the issue. So this is a, supposed to be a floating disc in which we have the structure that is attached to the rim and then we have these rivets and finally the disc, the part that is going to break. The function or the purpose of these rivets is to act as an interface between the mobile part, which is the disc. This is a fixed disc already, so this has been treated with the trick I'm going to share with you, so that you can actually see and hear how the disc is completely floating, it's moving. So it not only moves that, that way, but also moves left and right a bit. What this is going to do if the disc is truly floating, what is going to happen is that this is the disc, this is the caliper with the brake pads. If the disc is able to absorb the, the different uh, deformation it suffers while it's heating up, then if the disc, disc is truly floating, the, the, the brake will be uniform. However, if the disc rivets, this connection is fixed because there's dirt or uh, shit inside, then this won't move and then we will feel all the vibrations and that's what we feel when we actually break we think that the disc it may be bent but not fully it's just that we need it to be floating that is the the whole purpose of the floating disc to be a floating disc so what we are going to do is to remove the the particles the dust and the debris that can get stuck between these three parts so it's very easy we are going to take a torx 27 and we are going to use it to push that direction, so we push there, and then we rotate. So this disc is already free and it's already floating, so you see it doesn't cost me anything to rotate it, but on a dirty disc, what we have to do is first apply brake cleaner on the rivet, okay? And then we rotate like this. And here's the trick, I did this before, even with the drilling tool, to make it spin faster, it was spinning freely, and still I was feeling the pulsating, but my new trick, and that's what I want to share with you today, is that not only we need to rotate it like this, we also need to rotate like this, and do both at the same time. By doing both at the same time, we are increasing the friction, we are letting the disc move also, not only left and right, but also in depth, and we are able to clean much more the dirt that it's stuck inside and or we are also creating a bit of wobble in the disc that's making it more floating. So then we finally again do the same, we put some brake cleaner and now it spins much faster and you can actually hear it. it makes almost no noise. So now we have to repeat this like uh, three or four times. So uh, again, torch 27, brake cleaner. We rotate at the same time we apply this movement and also applying force towards the center of the rim so that we increase the surface of contact and we are scratching away all the dirt and particles and we do it for all the rivets or connections in the disc and also on the other disc and the best thing that can happen is that you can hear this 
you see that the, the disc is truly mobile. And it's not, again, not only mobile, clockwise and counterclockwise, but also in depth, so left to right. It's very subtle, I would say less than a millimeter, uh, yeah, less than half a millimeter, but still you can clearly feel it. And I can tell you that after doing this, I immediately noticed no noise from the, from the calipers anymore while not braking and also a smoother and better brake. I don't feel the vibrations anymore. And I was feeling the vibrations for more than 10,000 kilometers because it was the last time I changed the brakes. So it really fixed my problem. It may not fix yours if your brakes are severely bent. But in the case of mine, where they were just a little, by doing this trick, it was more than enough. If we inspect now, the other one, I still have to work a bit more on this one. We also see it moves, but it doesn't make the same sound. It, takes, it costs me more to, to be able to move it. So I still need to work a bit more on this one, doing the trick. And uh, that would improve even better my performance. And uh, that's it. I hope it was uh, helpful to you, as it was for me. I thought my discs were bent, they were not, and I recovered my perfect uh, braking performance on my SRS. That's it for today. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.